Let's bring in St. Bernard Parish President Guy McInnes. He joins us now on the phone live from Araby, Louisiana, which if we remember was hit hard by an EF3 tornado earlier this year. Guy, thanks so much for joining us. I'm sorry to be talking about Araby yet again in terms of the tornado. Now a new confirmed tornado on the ground. So, uh, you know, what's the situation looking like there? What does the damage look like? Yes, ma'am. Um, uh, you know, our sheriff's department and fire department, um, they are out doing assessments right now and search and rescue for homes that lost their roofs. So it looks like we have significant damage. We're getting reports right now. So it looks like it's a it's a two mile um, path. Um, it looks like it was high. It didn't um, totally damage any homes that we know of yet, but we have a bunch of roofs that, that, that were taken off. So a couple of people were trapped. In their home earlier, our fire department were able to get to them, and any other um, injuries uh, or fatalities, uh, we we don't have any reports of any of that yet. But we're going to um, do assessments through the night, tomorrow morning at daybreak. We're going to make sure we get a, a full assessment and make sure our citizens are taken care of, and we're going to start clearing the debris um, tomorrow, just like we did for the tornado um, earlier this year. Right now, a long evening ahead of you. You mentioned the search and rescue is still ongoing. Happy to hear the reports that as of now, there are no injuries. We're happy to hear that. Let's hope it stays that way. We're looking at some video taken from Shalmet, uh, Shalmet excuse me, uh, of the tornado that worked through Araby. Talk to us about, you know, this tornado. Were you in the area at the time? What did you experience uh, yourself? Well, we, I, I was in, the, um, in, in a truck with our sheriff, and we um, watched the tornado come over the railroad track there on St. Bernard Highway. So, um, um, he, you know, he, he saved my life is what he's telling me. He got, got me out of the way of the tornado. And we were able to get to where the tornado crossed the river um, into Araby um, fairly quickly. And we're able to help some re residents on Friscoville and North Peter Street. So... You know, we, we uh, you know, it looks like we've got Tornado Alley here in Araby um, okay. area. So we're trying to figure this out. We'll be, uh, you know, sad to say we, we're good at this recovery stuff now with everything going on. But um, we're, we're going to do the same thing that we do. We know we're going to have support from our state. Um, talk to the governor tonight already. And I'm sure I'm going to be talking to um, some other people here soon. But uh, we'll have all the resources right. we need to take care of us yeah, you mentioning seeing that tornado with your own eyes, with the sheriff uh, with you, you saying uh, he's saved your life uh, this evening. I would say it is crazy to think about seeing that, but not so crazy. You mentioned this uh, in March. That's where you, we saw that EF3 tornado also work through Araby, killing one person back then earlier this year. In terms of now this evening, what are residents saying in terms of dealing with this now twice in one year's time you know we we, we haven't um talked to many residents um that, that they were concerned with their families yet but you know we, we are a resilient community we we say that all the time and this this event will be no different our, our uh, neighbors will be helping neighbors and we'll we'll get through it yeah, especially in the holiday season as people hopefully come together, hopefully not too much damage, but we've seen this destruction. You mentioned a two-mile path preliminary report, of course. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. We're happy to hear you're safe and hoping uh, more of that for the rest of your community. St. Bernard Parish President Guy McInnes, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, and God bless. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.